No, you need to go to the doctor or hospital to get that removed. You need to go to the emergency room. It's kind of hard worse than a tattoo gun. All right, so I'm here with Angela. Angela, how old are you? Uh, 48. Are you originally from Arizona? Texas. What part of Texas? Uh, I'm born in Dallas, but lived East Texas. And what's your current situation right now? You homeless? Yeah, just sleeping around, just hanging around right there. How'd you end up homeless? Uh, I, I kind of just left. Uh, un, 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 uh, un, I didn't tell my mom or nothing. Uh, no, I got my mom kicked out. And then it came, it came three times, and then I just left. I didn't really make any, any, uh, I didn't even stay to, to go live with her again. How'd you get your mom kicked out? Going around asking about usage. Around, the, uh, I guess, an undercover. I went up and asked him, and he made a complaint. I guess they had a complaint before about me or something because they, because they evicted us. How long have you been oh, oh. oh sorry. I'm sorry, good. There. And how long have you been homeless out here? Uh, uh, since 2003. 2003, so that's almost what? 20 or 18. About 18 years? And what do you do out here to survive? I just, I used to sell my bottom. I used to be a, uh, do a crime, but it was only. You used to do dates. Yeah. And did you stop that? Why? What happened that you had to stop? Because it was uh, there was there was just too many uh, people that get found because of doing that. Yeah. And what do you do now to survive out here? Uh, bomb panhandle. Panhandle. Yeah. How much money do you make a day? Can have uh, about not that much. Sometimes it was only five every now and then. But I don't I don't use that much. Just some soap and water and and, and, a, and a soda and that's all I kinda just need. Where do you usually sleep at night? Do you have a tent? No, no. Huh. It's too hot in a tent this time of year. I got to have the air, and, and I just get the blanket underneath me wet. So where do you usually get rest? I just go right over here by the building, by the uh, by that church over here. Yeah. Those apartments they run right there, right just right there on the sidewalk. How was your life before you became homeless? Uh. It was nothing wrong with it. I guess it's my fault for doing the, for doing what I was doing. I guess or wanting to have what I would at the time. Did you have a job? Uh, no, I never would work at it when I got here. Uh, and then I, I had SSI, but it got turned off. if I ask you what happened to your arm it's a it's a, it's fluid I think it'll come out I just got to poke it with a big enough needle is it a cyst yeah um are you getting any medical attention for that no why haven't you went to the doctors or the hospital he said surgically he made an appointment surgically and I don't want to go do that okay. I tried telling him just poke it but he, he wouldn't that particular one wouldn't do it I think that's really dangerous. Isn't it dangerous to do that? No. I accidentally stabbed my own finger in the, through the other side of it, over on the fence over there. It was bleeding a lot, but it quit. I didn't do, put no Band-Aid, no nothing. Have you ever had an abscess like that before? Uh, yeah, my ass. That's how, the one that hurt because I was sitting on it. And how do you usually get rid of them? I had to go get it surgically removed. Okay. But I think that one's a little different. This might not be the same thing, because it would hurt a little bit. Because that one, it hurt, even when I wasn't sitting on it. Oh, that looks like it hurts. Does it hurt? Mm-mm. It's gotten so big, it don't even hurt. I think it's just fluid. 
maybe some excess fluid, a leakage of something. <laughs> I don't know how what it is. Have you ever been down here to um, CBI? I yeah. think they'll, they'll remove that and they'll give you treatment like right away. Oh, yeah. Do you have any family out here in Arizona? Uh, my sister, my mom. Do they know that you're out here on the street? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I caused it. You know, it was my decision to cause, kind of. So I, you can't really blame my sister. I mean, she's she's handicapped more than I am, but she's yeah. she's my twin sister. And that wouldn't be right. And it wouldn't be right to blame my mom about it because she's a handicapped old woman too. That's kind of mean, getting them kicked out of. <laughs> Do you have any children? Yeah, three. From from probably unwanted children. What are the, their ages? The and father doesn't care. What he are don't their want to ages be there. and are they boys or girls? Their genders. Uh, a son and two girls. And what are their ages? I don't know. I can, I forgot. You forgot? You haven't been in contact with them? No, I had one in, in 2000, uh, 2001 or something. 2002, and the other ones were later than that. Yeah. Did they, did you raise them? Me? Uh, no, no, no. I, my family adopted them. Okay. So what are you doing right now? Where, where are you going? I'm just taking a walk. Taking a walk. I don't know. Are you trying to make some money out here? Me? Yeah. No, not right now. Do you need water, food, anything like that? Okay. Angela, right? Yeah. yeah. If one of your loved ones gets to see this interview, do you have anything to tell them? How would they see it? YouTube. Huh? YouTube. What's that? It's uh like a thing on the internet. Oh. If anybody wants to reach out to you with any sort of help, donations or any kind of words or anything like that do you have an email no address no do you have any way where they can get in contact with you if they had any food any tent some um, any sort of help no I, I had a number that's all i need but i don't i've ever lost it now i don't have a number else i'd reach him a long time ago Otherwise, I just carelessly just get lazy and don't want it to go through anything. <laughs> it's not that hot right now. It just seems like it'd be hotter than what it is. It's 105 today. That's it? <laughs> it's almost 115 this time of year. Yeah, I know. 120. What do you do to deal with the heat out here? Uh, I used to run to the DRC over there. If it's too hot, I'll probably I'd go over there. So apparently, I'm not the too hot now. What's a DRC? At Cass. Okay. So you know about that place? Yeah, I know where to go. All right, Angela. Well, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay with me using it on my YouTube channel? Yeah. All right, Angela. Thank you.